Back in the day, I thought that adding ventriloquism into the comedy act was a great idea. I thought it would be more marketable, and you know, but in the long run, it was probably the worst mistake I ever made. <laughs> because, you know, uh, I mean, the audiences like it because it's a different sensibility in the roster of a show. But, um, you know, professionally, you know, East Coast and West Coast, if you're a prop act, an act that requires other things besides just, you know, standing there at a mic, it's considered a little less than. Uh, they think that you, you can't be funny without the prop, that you need that in order, instead of writing good material. People come to my house and they ask where the puppets are. And I think that's kind of strange that they uh, expect them to just be around. I, um, I rarely look at the props or even take them out of the box until uh, showtime or rehearsal. Uh, and if you're here and there's no audience, then you're just playing with dolls alone. That is weird. It is. Agreed. And I really think that you're kind of, you're really writing for two people. And I mean, there's a stigma to it, like ventriloquism, oh, I'm going to pull my buddy out of the box and, uh, hey, cut that out. You know, all that cheesy stuff. I mean, they, that's, a lot of it is that. You know, so of course, um, there's truth to every stereotype. Hey, how you doing? Oh, what, what do you want? So I don't have time. Just stand there. <laughs> what are you selling? We're trying to end violence against women. Really? Yes. Specifically? How? Ventriloquism is not stand-up. It, it's, there's more, uh, theatrics attached to it to, you know, have to create that believability and uh, you're dragging a lot of shit around. You're not just walking in and going up to a mic. I mean, I hate that part of it, you know, just a whole case full of crap. Uh, you know, and I mean, it's, it's more theatrical and those venues, that burlesque type of setup, you know, was always for Las Vegas. That was the home for variety acts. But... You know, now Las Vegas is all Cirque and Magic, so unless I'm um, pulling a rabbit out of my ass or turning myself into a pretzel, that's uh, just not going to happen. Okay, I, uh, I got to put you down now. Why is that? Because I cannot close the um, coffee jar with one hand. So, use two hands. I, I can't use two hands. I think it goes comic. Uh... Maybe impressionist, ventriloquist, juggler, mind.